Hey, up. hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another video. I know another one about DK oldies. You're probably like gore. What you, you what are you doing? You just you're just doing DK oldies video because everybody else is doing them. You're right. But to be fair, I did DK oldies videos uh, before anybody else. No, I'm just kidding. That's a lie. Uh, I was doing DK oldies videos before the newest controversy, which is really really hammering down on their reputation now like their reputation was already already like yeah their videos are fun but their prices are ridiculous but like I, th this is my opinion about the prices okay like after really thinking about it more and more i don't really care if they're gonna sell these games and consoles for that price if people are gonna buy them i, I mean it's still lame like, people shouldn't buy them for that price, but if people are going to buy them and not do any research, then I, I can't, I can't really, I can't really fault them for selling it for that. I mean, it's still scummy, but it's just like, I don't, if people are buying them, then I don't know. All right, I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, now the new controversy, I cannot, no, there's no way. When people are getting consoles, and of course most people are not going to open their consoles to see if it's refurbished, they get the little sticker on it and go, oh, I guess it's refurbished, Woo Um, but everybody's opening consoles now, and they're like, some, I, I saw videos where they don't work, uh, they open them, they do work, but they have no, uh, of course, thermal face, I've been watching Jacob Barr's videos, um, but I've seen other videos where someone, I forgot the channel name, but they got N64, and they even test it with their N64. Like, they, they swap the cords, the same cord. They put it in theirs. It works. They put it in the DK Oldies one. Doesn't work. Um, I just, it's just, it's my, it's blowing my mind. Like, if, the, if these were, like, eBay prices, then a fuck-up like that is, like, okay. But, um, or even, like, the refurbishing, like, okay, you're paying eBay price. So, I guess you can't really expect a refurbished job, too. You know what I mean? But you're spending so much more. So, what we're going to do in this video, because it's two minutes in, and I haven't really explained. We are going to look at how much they will give you for your consoles. And, you know what? We'll, we'll take a look at some games, too. Because their games are way too overpriced, too. Just to, just to see. But we're going to probably focus on consoles. So, actually, this is, like, perfect right here. Because right here, this is their most popular things, I guess. Well, this these two are. Well, this is a fan favorite. And yes, uh, we're going to take a look at these. Uh, it's going to be a little hard because I'm sure, um, cause we have the, uh, trade in value, uh, page right here. They have a drop down menu. So I didn't get any spoils. I get any spoils. Um, so we're going to take a look at how much they'll give you trade value and then how much they sell it for, of course, which is probably way too much, uh, and way too little, uh, way too little giving you money, way too much selling. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, let's get to, oh, 4.8, uh, uh, five on Google. Okay. I'm surprised it's that high right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, and look at these reviews for this. Like, wow. I, I, I have a feeling some of these pro maybe dropped a little bit. All right, let's take a look at the NES first. Let's take a look. All right. So, oh, that's right. These aren't even real controllers. I just realized I didn't have the Nintendo logo. Oh, right there. $40 at, come on now. So, wait, wait, no, come on, uh, 200, uh, I've probably seen this before and I forgot, but two, $200 refurbished, I'm sure, um, refurbished, two, almost $200, after tax it will be pretty close, actually it might be a little over $200 for tax uh, over where I'm at, uh, no, it'll be right under $200, so for another $15, you can get an any, I mean, a, a Nintendo Switch and like ten dollars more to get like a like a, a switch online and then get a bunch of NES games that run pretty well on Nintendo Switch and of course you can also play Nintendo Switch games uh, and you can put, take it on the go. But if you want, of course, a classic NES, of course, then uh, I don't keep up with NESs, but I know they don't fucking even with, without the controllers. They, yeah, I, you can get a NES. With two controllers, original controllers on eBay, most likely for around a hundred bucks, maybe maybe a little over, uh, and they will be just as refurbished, I'm sure, as this. It might even be in better condition. But um, all right, so let's take away the controllers again. So it's one forty-five because you get the shitty ones that suck. Um, well, they might be okay. I don't know. Um, replica replica controllers. Um, that's kind of shitty controller upgrade. Um. That doesn't say in the title. It should say two, uh, NES two-player pack with replay with uh with replica controllers, and then if you click here, it should t change the title to with real controllers. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, I'm going to say 
without the controllers, they would charge like 110 for a console, right? Is that, is that fair? I think that might be a little too fair because these controllers look like they're probably like $12 controllers each. But let's be, let's just say $110, okay? So let's see how much they would sell just a console or, or give you, oh, wait, no, uh, give you um, for the console. Uh, oh, I was expecting a drop down list, okay? Where is it? Wait, 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 wait. What, what the fuck does the... All right, $50. That's actually a little bit more than I was expecting. Um, $50? But what the fuck is the arrow pointing out? It, it, did it go up recently? It's all, it, it's on the... Wait, no. They, they, wait. Mario missing $14. Mega Man 2, $22. Mega Man 3, $16. I feel like that's terrible. Metroid for $16. I mean, I guess I, I don't keep up with NES, so I shouldn't really look at the games here, but 50, uh. and of course, again, that's not with controllers, but they're just going to package in two shitty controllers. They probably bought as a, like a big bundle from some company, you know, they probably bought like hundreds of those controllers, uh, for like next to nothing comparatively if you bought them separately from a site, you know, because, you know, business deals and stuff like that. Um, so and is it considering they don't really refurbish them? If they do, they open it and look and go, like, go and get, get some of the some of the not n crusted in dust. Like that's ridiculous. Okay, so but that was not as bad as I was, I was expecting. That also might be inflated a little bit now because they might be raising their prices just a little bit. But uh, all right, let's do N sixty four. That one, that one I've seen some videos about. So I would love to see. Okay, that's these fake ass controllers. I hate not seeing. And Nintendo logo. It pisses me off. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. I guess the picture. Oh, my God. It's like the almost exact same. Wait, is this just the same picture? Dude, did they? All right. Legitimately. Because I'm sure they look almost exactly like an N64 controller. Did they just take the same picture? They took a picture of an N64 with the... Uh, actually, no. This is 100% just Photoshop. Because this isn't like a picture they took of the console. This is like a stock image almost. Like they just took, they have a picture or they, or they took a picture of just the N64 and then they put the two controllers behind. Like, could you find this picture somewhere else? You know what I mean? Like on, on whatever, who cares? Um, all right. So $240 with controllers. Okay. Let's put none. <laughs> HD. Yeah. I want an HDMI cable, please. I know it has the H. I get it. It's, you can make your N64 HDMI. That was, was a joke. Wait, no. God. See, that's the thing. Like, $30 per controller is not crazy. That's how much they sell on eBay, $20 to $30. Okay, fine. But, like, already charging $180 for fake controllers and an N64 console and then adding another $60 just for real controllers, it should be $180 with the controllers. That That's still too high. But it should be that price if you're going to fucking... It, it should be with those controllers if you're going to charge that much for a console. All right, how much are they going to give us for that? Let's see. I'm not selling anything. All right, it's right there. Are you kidding? What? It. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. How is it less than NES? It doesn't make any fucking sense. You charge way more for NES. It's because it's their most popular. I don't know why I'm fucking even questioning it. NES is not popular. But wait, if it's not popular, why would they charge more? Or, or not charge more, give more for it. Like, oh, no one's buying these. Let's buy, let, let's give more for them. Maybe, are they going up? Maybe maybe they're becoming more popular. Wait, hold on. Let me see that again. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me go there. I have a fucking heart attack. Um, it does not say most popular. That's what I thought. I was going to see if the NES said most popular. Oh, my God. I can't wait to see this. Yeah, let's, let, you know what? I don't even want to. You know what? Let's look at the game because I, I know the game's a little bit more. The game values don't seem too terrible. Like, it's about half, which is expected. But remember, this is half of what I, I, I'm i pretty sure they go for eBay. They're char charging way more. But considering you won't get even close to as much as DK Oldies is, is selling them for, like like $11 for a 1080 snowboarding, it's going up, I guess, um, is not terrible. Like, even Banjo-Tooie for 26 I think it's like a what, $40, $50 game. I mean, it's not good, but, like, I'm going by, like, trade values you know what i mean not if you can sell them on ebay you should just sell the shit on ebay by the way because you have to ship it anyway it's not like you could just go there and trade them in you have to ship it anyway so why the fuck would you do this um whatever um 
Yeah, Perfect Dark 12. It's like a $25 game, but like uh, Snowboard Kids 2. That's actually not bad. Even on eBay, I think it's like $80 game. So that's, I mean, that's not terrible prices here, but I'm sure there's something really bad here somewhere. I like to just call it Superman. It's Super N64. Uh, not a lot of games here. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Uh, I don't remember how much it goes for now. I know it, for the longest time it went for like a little over 100. Uh, it might go for more now. Uh, but all right, so that's the games. The games don't seem too bad, but again, you have to remember I'm going by what prices, what I know the prices are on eBay. All right, so the Wii system here, which better come to a real fucking controller. It does. Okay, good. I was about to say, do they even make fake fucking Wii, con Wii controllers? Wii motes? I don't remember ever seeing one besides like, like an official branded one, you know, from like, I don't know, like a Mad Cats or whatever. <clears throat> so I guess that would technically be fake, but th these ones seem like they're like made by people that aren't like Nintendo branded or whatever, which is probably not true, but whatever. Uh, I see those controllers a lot where it, it, you don't, it doesn't say anywhere Nintendo, like the logo Nintendo. It says Nintendo, but it doesn't have the logo, whatever in fucking shops everywhere but uh all right so 110 dollars with a wemo wemo it's like what maybe 20 bucks so let's say 90 dollars. okay this one 90 for a wii is still maybe a little too much but that's not too bad i don't think i don't think at least um if this came with wii sports it would be a good price let me see does it come with anything it comes with white compatible <laughs> compat wait wait no 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 what do you mean white compatible wii remote Wait, does that mean it's not real? It looks like it has the logo, right? Yeah, it's we. Oh my god, that has a fake one! Wait, wait so you can't get away. Oh my god. Uh, so you can't wait. Oh no, I'm 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 lowering it to 10 then. So you might get a real Wiimote or you might not. So it's a gamble. Alright, I'm I'm lowering it to ten dollars off. So it's it's fuck no, because fuck that. It's gonna be used too, so most likely. I'll say, you know, I'll I'll keep it at 90. 90 for just a console. All right, let's see how much they sell it for now. All right, let's get rid of this. <laughs> That's on the up 25. <laughs> come on, man. $25. Dude, come on. You were like NES was not that terrible. It was still not good, but $50. That was almost half of what I would estimate you would sell a console only without controllers for. Um, Again, I guess that's also console i'm assuming console only means no cords too yeah because it says original av cable so you get you get it you get a dollar extra i i should have been looking that up uh let me see a, a dollar okay so if you send them with the original cord and and uh power cord you get 38 um and then for nes you get uh well i guess you don't get anything else i'm assuming that means you need to send the cords maybe or it doesn't matter maybe they have an excess amount of cords i don't know um i had a lot of n64 compatible cords in the past um so maybe they have an excess amount of n64 i mean uh nes I, wait doesn't it use the same or am i thinking of super nintendo that has the same av cables as the n64 i don't remember now huh I don't remember. Anyway, it's been a long time since I hooked up a fucking NES or SNES or anything. <clears throat> the closest I've been to hooking up an SNES to my TV is uh, the uh, any SNES Classic. So, and that's just HDMI anyway. So, um, okay, so uh, twenty five bucks. So, if I said a hundred, that would have been a fourth of the price. <laughs> but because I didn't, let's just say. Uh. Almost a third, not quite. Well, after the two, let's say a third, just because I don't fucking care. That's terrible. That's really bad. I mean, GameStop's not very good either, but we already know GameStop was bad. And it seems like GameStop might actually refurbish shit sometimes. Like, I've watched some videos where they're like, oh, actually, they opened it up and actually replaced some things. I've actually seen that happen. You know, people open it up and go, wow, actually, they did. They, I mean, they used that magic racer thing, but on the, 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 whatever, the shell. But, um, inside it's clean. And also, like, GameStop, I'm assuming, has a really big department where DK Oldies probably doesn't have a huge one. Um, so it's more on the fall of GameStop, I guess. I'm assuming they have a big department where they, you know, refurbish a lot of stuff because they're a huge company where DK Oldies is 
they're big ish but there's like still only what one one dk oldies establishment i assume i haven't looked that in far into it all right so let's do the ps2 i did want to do some games we'll, we'll take a look real quick at some games um maybe some ps2 games actually uh all right so two hundred dollars so oh you all right 230 word controller at least this one tells you immediately you don't well i'm assuming you get a fake controller right yeah right there it's the same picture they just like erased the sony lo and playstation logo i'm sure it doesn't look exactly like that it probably has like because the i know triangle circle square and and uh cross i guess um are still trademarks so they have to do something fucked up with them like i've seen controllers where they're like they 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 have the shapes but they're like dots instead you know what i mean so it's like dot 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 to make an x you know what i mean and then the same thing with or like dashes so it's like dash 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 so i know i'm showing off camera but whatever <clears throat> so I, i'm assuming that's the case but they just you went to photoshop real quick <laughs> fucking erased the fucking sony logo and the playstation logo um Without that controller, I'm gonna say like maybe maybe 180. So I'm guessing I should I should have been doing guesses. I'm guessing 70. They gotta at least do 70. If they're good, no, because they didn't do even close to that for N64. I I'm gonna give them a benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna say this one's on the rise. Maybe I'm gonna say 60. How about 60? We'll say 60. Maybe they'll do a little bit better this one. Let's see. Where is it? PS2. Here we go. <laughs> Oh wait, hold on. If you have the silver or the white, you get 61 and 73. I'm sure they charge. Wait, now I need to see how much they charge for those. I'm sure the silver will be 300 and the white will be like $5,000 or some shit. Oh my god. They couldn't even get to 60. Come on, man. Uh, I mean, we're close though. If we have the AV cord and the power cable, then, <laughs> then, then you're at 58 for the black console. Um, the slim black console, by the way. Not the original. This isn't the original. I guess they don't take originals anymore. I'm assuming so. I don't see original PS2. You know, the fat boy. Game only. Oh. Okay, I get you. So, you have you have to do the math yourself here. Game only is 25% off. Game and original case only, 15% off. Game and manual only, 15% off. I get you. <clears throat> I feel like the manual should be worth more than that. I've seen games double in price just because it has a manual. But whatever. I mean, for these lower tier games, sure. That's a good metric to go by. Uh, I'm like taking a glance at these. Budokai Tenkaichi 3 for 100? I would love to get that for 100. I'm sure DK Oldies would too. So you could sell it for like $300. It's like a $150 game. I've been wanting that for a little while. Uh, I was even considering just getting on Wii. Because I've, I've heard the Wii version is good. I've only played the PS2 version. I played the Wii version of Budokai 2. Tenkaichi 2, though. That was pretty good. I remember... That, I don't think there was, like, many motion controls that were annoying. I think I, I think you could just play it with a fucking, like, a GameCube controller, too, I think, if, if I'm correct. I don't remember. I think you could play it with a regular controller, and you don't need to worry about waggle shit. Um... I mean, I'm seeing. I'm looking at some prices here, like Kingdom Hearts two for five bucks. I mean, it's like a ten dollar game, so whatever. Um, they, they charge, I'm sure, twenty for it, but whatever. Sonic Riders, you know, I I don't see anything here that's like super bad with game trade ins, but consoles is fucking awful. Like, it's awful because, like, again, I'm going by eBay prices for these games. I don't know how much they charge for their for their store, but the reason why I'm I'm going eBay prices with the games is because nobody's really giving a shit right now because the game the, all right this is this is why because the games themselves are i've heard not many complaints about the games they come in pretty good condition they come exa pretty much exactly how they're supposed to whatever um the consoles don't they're supposed to be refurbished and they're not so they're ebay quality consoles for dk oldies prices um where games if they're saying they're going to be in great condition and then you get them and you paid that price then they did their service you paid the price you know both literally and figuratively um because you spent way too much um for a game you can get relatively good condition i'm sure uh especially from trusted sites on or uh, shops on ebay because uh, there's some really good shops on ebay don't think everybody's like some fucking guy that like has their consoles in their basement and they haven't fucking tr tried them in 20 years like most most people i buy from on ebay are are i think tr I, I trust them at least 
Um, I buy a lot on eBay. Uh, I buy a lot on Macari. I buy a lot on Offer. I buy at least I used to. I haven't really bought a lot recently, but I used to. From all the things I've bought in the last like four years, I've bought mostly from eBay, Offer Up, and Macari. Not from like a GameStop or whatever. I still buy things from GameStop a lot, but like I've bought mostly from like sites like that. So anyway, that's why I'm like giving more shit for the consoles than like you know like oh they're selling this game for thirty dollars, but they're only giving it, giving us five dollars. But that's because they they're also not like lying about those games. I'm sure I'm sure sometimes the game will come fucked up, but like most of the time from what I've seen, consoles are always fucked up, grimy, and they're only giving you a third of the price they're selling it for. Uh, even if even if they were selling eBay prices, fifty six dollars for a, a slim black console, fifty eight if you have all the cords and it's working, and it's it's good good shape for the most part, it works. Then that, I mean that's still not that's that's terrible because you could sell that for a little over a hundred on eBay. It's not it's not good. It, you also still have to ship it. Obviously, you don't have to pay uh, shipping. I, I at least I assume DK Oldies covers that. I would assume they do. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> They're giving the slow of trade credit. I didn't think about that. Um, all right, let's do some games. Their fucking consoles are bad, but let's do some uh, the higher tier games. I just want to see some games because, again, like I said, let's see. Let's just go straight up high. <clears throat> Did I didn't even know? Oh yeah, that's a perfect one. So good. All right, so game case cover art, two hundred and ninety five dollars. It's on. Hey. It's $105 off. That's pretty good for a game that's like a little less than $200 right now, I think. It might even be lower. I haven't really kept up with it. Um, let's see. Did they, I'm assuming they have this here. I didn't notice. Oh, they don't. Oh, they don't take Def Jam <laughs> Fight for New York? I didn't even notice. Okay, so they don't take that. Do they take uh, Xenoblade? Xeno Gears? Or Xeno Saga? I saw that there. Nope, I don't see it. Dude, are they really not taking some of their the higher end games right now? System, I just want to say. Oh, here we go. This is good. Xbox One X, one terabyte, 108 with controllers and core. Fuck off. God damn. All right. I don't even want to look at this. It's getting me upset. Let me see the sound switch. Console with charger, dock, 155. Okay. That's a little less than half of what it is used or new. I guess that's not It's not good. A switch light for 85, though. Ugh. Celeste. That's a really rare limited run game. That's why that's in there. Wow, they don't really take too many Switch games. I guess that makes sense. Because they're more of a retro store, but still. Um, oh, yeah. Xbox Original. I do want to see that. Oh, do they not take consoles now? Wait, hold on. No, it looks like they don't take consoles right now. I guess I guess they have too many. Sega Saturn, do they take those? Oh, they do. 60 <laughs> PS1? Email? <laughs> they'll, give you, they'll send you an email. That's, that's the price you pay. <laughs> it's... Thanks for the PS1. Hey, Joe here. <laughs> hey, Joe here from DK Oldies. Just want to say thank you. <laughs> because you gave us a free PS1, we're going to give you this PS1 keychain. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's a picture of a, of a PS1 keychain. You don't even get the actual keychain. You pay for shipping. <laughs> I'll send you this PS1 keychain. <laughs> Shipping's more, like the price of like eight of those things. They get those from fucking wish.com or some shit for like tw 25 cents each. <laughs> oh, all right. I think I'm done. Oh, yeah. 3DS. Let's see that. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, even 115 is way too cheap. Like they sell those consoles for like two, $250. That's too, that's too cheap. I mean, that's better than some of the other things, but all right. So their most popular things. They, they give you fuck all for, for it. Oh yeah. I should see you too. It's 70. How much do they sell SNES for? I would love to see that shit. Oh my God. <laughs> Yep, that's about right. Uh, acceptable. I guess they get a lot of acceptable. Even acceptable, they fucking they still charge seventy for a console. I guess they don't give a fuck if it's fucked up because people are gonna buy this one because they don't care what it looks like. Fan favorite, you get a Super Mario World. It's just I guess thirty three dollars for that's not bad. Some some of these prices are not too terrible actually. Some of them are fucking ridiculous though. They're they're insane with their, some of their prices. It seems like maybe some of them are going down in price a little bit though. Maybe. Like that, that, that yeah. I, I, maybe. We'll see. Mario Kart is still too much. Uh, that's still too much. I mean, what was that? Like $80, $90 game right now? Super Mario RPG. 
<clears throat> oh, all right. So anyway, uh, that's it. So that was a, that was a, that was, uh, that was fun. <laughs> anyway, there we go. That's it. Bye. <laughs> I got nothing else.